here is a little Wells RF output meter. It's designed to be used for testing handhelds. As you can see, it's got a frequency range of 50 to 500 megahertz. But the problem is, I put it on three transceivers, a Baofeng, a Retivus, and my Yaesu FT817. And all three of those rigs put out five watts of FM, but it only went up to three watts So, I think that there's something wrong with this meter. Having a look inside, and I've removed the back cover. It's pretty simple, it's just a meter movement. There's a whole lot of resistors in there. Some of them would be in parallel for the dummy load. And you might be able to see a diode in there and a potentiometer. So this might actually just need calibrating. I don't know the exact circuit of the RF power meter, but it's likely to be something like this. RF input, a dummy load, an RF diode, a capacitor, and a meter movement in series with the resistor. The resistor's value depends on the current rating of the meter movement and the maximum power range you want to have. If you're calibrating the meter, then changing this resistor value is how you do it. Of all the transceivers, the one I trust the most is the FT817. So I'll use that as my power reference. I'll now just twiddle this control and see what effect it has on the meter movement. I've just turned it anti-clockwise and it's the wrong way, only indicating one to half watts. So I'll go in the other direction. Well, now it's just gone past full scale deflection, so I think that's a bit too much. That's pretty much perfect. I'll just try lower output power levels with the 817 and see what I get. Two bars is one watt. And it's close. Three bars is two and a half watts. And it's reading about 2.2 watts. So I'll just tweak the control up a little bit to improve the power reading down at lower power settings. That's now two and a half watts. That's pretty much perfect. About half a watt and that's very close to it. Five watt and slightly over. So I think we'll leave it there. This meter is supposed to do 50 to 500 megahertz. So I'll now try 50 megahertz. Now 50 megahertz with the 817 on 5 watts. It's actually reading 4 watts. The 2.5 watt setting is reading 2 watts. 1 watt setting is reading touch over 800 milliwatts. And here's the half watt setting. Just curious as to how the meter performs on HF. Like there's no actual cell activity components in it. So although the meter is advertised as being for VHF and UHF, I think it would also work okay on HF. If it does, it would be very handy for measuring the output of QRP gear at the HF frequency range. With the 817 on 5 watts on 1.8 megahertz, the meter is only indicating 1.5 watts. That was on FM mode. I'll just try SSB. And it's similar on SSB, though you're not going to be using this meter to properly measure SSB power. It will always 
under indicator. On 14 megahertz, it's a little bit better, touch over 2 watts, 28 megahertz, reading 3 watts, again I'm transmitting FM. This is for 5 watts output. On 2 meters, it's reading exactly 5 watts, so I'll leave it there. I'll only use this meter for VHF and UHF as it says. Noting on HF, it does work but you need to double the readings in the middle of the HF range and at the bottom of the HF range maybe triple them.